Cancer Leo Cusp. Cancer Intuitive Artistic Sensibilities Kind Sweet You Want In Your Corner On Your Side. Leo Can Leos can be spotted from a mile away. Warm, kind, hearted, strong, dominating, sometimes a pain in the ass, can be majestic, be wary of teeth. Now, that kind of makes me, kind of makes me leery when they say, uh, be wary of teeth. Maybe there's some Leos out here who is actually biting people. That one fucking surprised me one bit. But, um, I believe it's a fixed fire. Known how powerful they are. It's like night and day. With, with this cusp, enjoy being surrounded by people's warmth. So you're ruled by the sun and moon. It's like day and night with these people. The Cancer Leo Cusp. That was just a little bit of how they are in general. But this is a mixture of how they are. Okay, so there is Cancer Leo Cusp Oscillation. Hope I said that right. Cancer is calm. Leo has a fiery personality. Make the... Yeah, makes the Cancer... Cancer Leo cusp on IQ are timid, sensitive, empathic, confident, enthusiastic. So... Empathic can mean that you're, you can feel everybody's emotions, pretty much. Cancer ruled by emotion, moon, is sensitive. So, cancer is ruled by emotions, is the moon. Leo is ruled by the sun. That's proud and brave. And you can feel others' emotions. Is a challenge acting on emotions. Make sure to channel them into love and not aggression or defensiveness. So I believe this is where Cancer and Leo Cusp come in the mix. Is that Leos are very aggressive and Cancers are very defensive. So it's going to be a challenge. For the sun and moon, just make sure that your energy and emotions are in check. It's going to be a challenge. Because you can feel everybody else's emotions, not just your own. Okay, let's say that for some odd reason you're pissed off and you're moody as fuck and you can't figure it out. It may not be your own. You could be feeling somebody else's emotions. It could be your significant other. It could be your family member. It could be a complete stranger that's feeling nothing but pain. You're going to feel your own and others' emotions. And it's going to be a challenge to try to make that positive into loving. Okay. Makes you a lover and a leader or a beautiful blend of caring and passionate. Yes, cancer is caring and Leos are passionate. Should use this energy to help others or raise awareness for a good cause. So, maybe this is for awareness of maybe emotions to help people balance that out pretty much to make sure 
that it's awareness. Sun, moon can do amazing things. Make change for help the greater good. So pretty much the Cancer Leo cusp are here to change. Probably make a world into a better place for the help for the greater good. So it's saying that if you can feel the abilities of other emotions, it's saying make sure that you use it for the good. Do not use it for selfish reasons. And I've known people to do it. There's people thinking that they can use, okay, let's say, for example, let's say that there was a lot of people out here trying to do a lot of things. And let me say, it don't work because they're not using it for good. That's the only explanation that I can say. And Cancer Leo Cuss potential to be well-rounded. You're a successful leader who is deeply respected by your team and can be rely to keep secrets. So this is why they feel like they can trust you. This is why people are drawn to Cancer Leo cuss people because they're, they're sensitive. If you cry, they'll cry with you. They cannot help it. They're ruled by the sun and moon. Okay, the, these are sun moon people. You're like day and night, okay? And this would explain it. Maybe Cancer Leo feels some type of emotion and it hurts them. So they use aggressiveness and has a hard time um, keeping their emotions in check. It's going to be a challenge. Especially if you're an empath. Empath can do this too. And I can't remember what other psychic ability that is. It's where you can sense. I think it's like your sixth sense. I think something like that. But yeah, this person will come up to you freely. You feel like you can trust them. They can guide you in the right way. Which that's why people will probably like you. You're looked up to very much. That's why people like you. Because you will talk to people. You're very open. And pretty much... That's pretty much having cancer. Leo Cusp is here. Leo is helping cancer to get out of that show. And cancer is here to let... Leo know... That they don't have to be so aggressive or defensive. That could also be a nerd thing. They just have to balance it out. Pretty much. So. Like I said. They can rely on you. And you're very well respected. You would want these people in your corner. And these people. Once you make friends with them. Once they know you. And somebody does something. These people are going to be in your corner and if you don't have them in your corner I don't know what to tell you I believe what it's getting at you would want this person a cusp in your corner at all costs because they understand they are empathy charisma they have charisma and empathy to guide others in the right direction that kind of kind of knows how to give emotional advice better than anyone else. And instead, instead of just sitting there saying, oh, you're stupid. No, 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 no. Cancer, Leo, Cusp are going to emphasize with you, actually talk to you on an emotional level that you would never think. That's why these people are looked up to. That's why you're having people maybe admiring you 
or people looking up to you. Hey, look. Like, there's some people that literally ask people to come to me for advice. And I kind I kind of go, uh, my advice would get people in trouble. But usually, when I can understand the situation, and if somebody's giving me the proper conversation that I can get it, then I can help them to how to deal with the situation. That's pretty much a Cancer. Cancer is the moon, which is... I believe a mother figure. I believe. The moon is secrets too. So pretty much if you don't if you don't have Cancer Leo Cusp in your corner, I I don't know. I mean you really have to do something. And also Cancer is water, Leo is fire. She got that too. Let me see. Our highly influential people that has no problem vocalizing opinions. So these people have no issue, no problem of voicing their opinion. They do not, they don't care. They, they have no problem in that. Like, if they feel like they need to say something, they're going to say it. They have no problem in vocalizing and what they're saying. Pretty much. But they do, they do try to be respectful, though. But Cancer is more of the nice side, sensitive side. Leo is more of the aggression side. So it just depends which one you're dealing with. That's why they're moody and cranky half the time so cancer leo brings out confident in z z -ulus character z e a l o u s z -ulus character great positive changes is thrilled to be invited to places so I, I I guess if you say anything, hey, look, do you want to go out for dinner? If you want to go out to eat or something, these people are all up for it. Like, they're thrilled. Like, they will be so excited that it's not even funny. These people love to be invited to go to places. They do. So, Cancer is more like the romant, romantic side. Leo is more realistic. Cancer is more like dreamy in that love state. And Leo is more like realistic. Like, okay, Cancer, like, do you not understand that this love shit, whatever is going on in your mind, is not realistic? See, then that's when you, you got the two. You got the one that's sensitive and you got the one that's not so sensitive. Have to balance that out. As well, too... And even though it shapes them to be humble, learn to balance within themselves. So the Cancer and Leo is sharp. It will pretty much make them humble and learn to balance it out eventually. It just depends on... What other aspects they got, I believe. Can be assertive, strong, positive energy, compassion, sympathy, with respect and care. So, pretty much, cancer respects is all people. And it does not matter, like, if you're mean to them or if you're whatever, they're still going to respect you. But... The caring part. So there, there's a little, little thing here. That the compassion would be Leo. They'll care for you, but they won't tolerate disrespect. Cancer will respect you regardless and still care for you. That's what needs to be balanced out. Strengths. Very... Productive 
and resourceful make a good companion pretty people. So pretty much that they're very productive, resourceful, make a good companion, pretty much a good partner, and they're pretty people. Weakness is short-tempered, moodiness, crankiness, or emotionally intelligent. But how is that a weakness if you're emotionally intelligent? That makes no fucking sense. That's more like a strength to me. That just dumbfounded me right there. But... Pretty much the short-tempered... <sighs> cancer is short-tempered because they feel so much emotions of each other. Meaning like they feel their own and then they feel others. Leo is more of lose their shit because they want to. There's a difference in that category. Cancer is more intuitive, empath, that could feel everything and anything around them. Leos much don't feel what cancer can. They're more of the aggressive side to things. Leos are not that sensitive. They might be warm. They might be warm and gentle. And that's probably where the teeth comes in. I don't know, I don't know what that means. I, I guess saying that they might bite you. I don't know. It's hard telling on that. Now, I don't know if that's just... I don't know if that's just my ancestors or God being funny. I don't know. But there's not really much that I looked up because it wouldn't give me much for Cancer Leo Cusp. Oscillation, it wouldn't really give me much. That's pretty much what it is. You're very well respected. You understand the emotions of others if you channel it. You can bring change, love, into the world that you don't have to, that you can bring awareness for a good cause. Do not abuse it for your gain. And that's when a lot of people <laughs> don't understand. Cancers can feel that. When you're trying to gain something of not being kind or understanding, and then all of a sudden, okay, let's say for example, that you were home with your significant other or whatever, and then you go out and about, and it's like, what the fuck happened to you? That's pretty much feeling other people's emotions. Like, you were you were just fine, and then all of a sudden, you step outside, and it's like, it's doo -doo 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 -doo, fucking crazy, and then all of a sudden, it affects you. That's what it needs to balance out, and that's why I believe Cancer Leo Cusp is here. Cancer is more of the... Dreamy state, I believe Leo is more like, come on, seriously, you got to be realistic about this. Why are you so emotional? And then you got Cancer, who's trying to get Leo to have somewhat compassion that don't have to be rude or mean. That's also a battle between sun and moon as well. It's kind of funny. Yeah, has no problem. Oh, yeah, especially. Pfft. Last time I knew, Leos don't give a fuck. They fly. But Cancers are a little bit more shy about it because they don't want to hurt feelings. And then Leo comes in and kicks Cancers ass to be like, look, you need to speak your motherfucking mind. You're going to do it. So that's the whole point of Cancer Leo. It's trying to teach you to balance out your sensitiveness and your aggressiveness and you need to be realistic and not into emotions so much it's there's more to life than just being in your emotions <laughs> and then you got cancer out here saying that well you don't always have to be aggressive and that and that's why they're a cranky moody bitch or a cranky dude and <sighs> re remember the old saying you're a pain in the fucking ass. So pretty much these two combined are a pain in the asses. I, I would say that. But one 
one pain in the ass is so emotional that they cannot help it. And then you got the other one that's a pain in the ass of not really caring before what they say, but they're very well respected and very liked by people. I don't know. Okay. But, um, pretty much they are a lover and a leader. Okay, so that's what it is. That pretty much Cancer is more of a lover because it's water. It's like touchy-feely. And the leader would be Leo. So you're a mixture between a lover and a leader. And maybe... Maybe cancers, because I've kind of noticed cancers don't like being a leader because it's too much emotional stress upon them. And Leo's trying to say, get out of your damn shell, get out of your damn comfort zone, get, get, get. And then all of a sudden they get out of their shell and then it's cancer's turn to tell Leo's what's up. That's where I think it's funny that pretty much you are dealing with, like I said, you're too... At the same time, you are two energies right here. And yeah, yes, I know it, it's not funny, but you really have to think about it. If you really know your birth chart very, very well, and you've actually looked it up and read about it and looked it on YouTube, that's why, that, that's, well, for me, I've been laughing at stupid shit for a while, and I... I don't know why. Maybe that's just me coping with things, or maybe that's just me trying to... I don't know. But I laugh at things I should not be laughing at. But I do it. Maybe it's to make myself feel better. Or maybe it's to just try to blow something off. I don't know. It's weird. Yes. You are... Now it depends because this is weird. Because I even looked up something that I have a double moon... Double Capricorn, double Cancer. Maybe this is what my birth chart was telling me. Yes, and, and that can also that can also be it too. That I, I know there's other people out there who has a double in their birth chart somewhere, okay? They all do. And that would explain it. It's either gonna be it's either gonna be your planet or it's either gonna be your sun, moon, or rising, or it's gonna be somewhere in your cusp. <laughs> That would explain it. I... I totally forgot that. Double Cancer, double Scorpio, and double... Yeah. Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn. No, that's kind of weird. And it's kind of odd. I don't have a cusp of a Scorpio. That's kind of weird. My opinion. Or may maybe, like I said, maybe... Like I said, I already got a Scorpio moon. It could be in something else that I don't realize. That's why it's a double. But you always got to double check on that just to make sure. Now, if you're not for sure, you can always go to people. And I don't know how much they cost. There's like so many people that will read your birth chart. Literally send it to you in a few couple of business days. That will literally send you a movie or a video of them explaining about your birth chart so that you know that you are 100% where they can help you to understand better. And that's why I said it's very confusing. And these people get thrilled when they get to learning to balance to be humble. It gets sharpened. They learn eventually. And I believe that takes maturity. And that's why they're on IQ. That's what I believe. <sighs> so then... I think it's a fixed fire. I believe that's what it is. Let me find out real quickly. If I can figure it out. If I can't. Well, screw it then. I don't need to know that badly then if I can't find it. You know what I mean? If I can't find it in my book, I ain't gonna worry about it. Okay. 
Okay, Cancer, Leo. Okay, Cardinal. Okay, Cardinal Water would be Cancer. Fixed Fire. Okay, so that's what it is. Fi fixed Water Fire. Okay. In Cardinal Water. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I found it. Cool, sweet. But, like I said, the teeth part, they are both pain in the asses. You got one that's emotional, and you got the one that's aggressive. Pretty much. They can be funny, though. Like, I believe, I believe the reasons why it's funny is because Cancer is so romantic that Leo's are like, are you serious? That's not realistic. Like... You would really have to date somebody who is a Cancer or a Leo to understand where I'm getting at. Or understand the energy itself. It's actually kind of like a funny combo. I've known Cancers to be very intelligent. Sometimes emotionally intelligent. Some of them are not. And then you got some Leos out here that are not really emotional. Meaning that they can't really feel or maybe... That's why Cancer is here to let Leo know that you need to consider other people's emotions before you speak. That could also be another thing too. And they are magis um, majestic as well. They're very strong. Intimidating. So, maybe this is where Leo <laughs> Leo is trying to get Cancer to be intimidating, and Cancer is trying to get Leo to stop being so intimidating. I don't know. Like, like I said, it's kind of a funny scenario, but it's however it rolls. Pretty much, these signs are trying to get out of its shell, and the other one wants to be shy, and the other side is saying, uh-uh. Get out there. Do it. You're you're great. Go, go, go. Pretty much. So that's what you got. You kind of got a weird pool between the sun and the moon. And that's probably why if you got a Cancer Leo, that's probably why you like being up all night and sleeping all day. Could, could be that. I don't know. It depends on everybody. I don't know. But yes, these two will speak their opinions, but Cancer is more of the loving, trying to understand, respect you aspect, okay? Love you. Um, Cancer tries to be more on the, on the loving, caring, respecting you. Cancer is more like... Oh, well, look, like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, is there anything I can do to help you? Like, very, very sensitive. It's, it's almost, it's almost like a mom figure. And I believe it has, I believe cancer has to do with family and mother energy. So, literally, these people will literally talk to you like you, were, you are their own kid when they're not meaning to. If that makes any sense. So, then you got Leo. Okay, Leo is not much into emotions. They're more like, just go and not think. They're not really that emotional. And they are strong. And they're intimidating. And Cancer is trying to get Leo to calm down on that shit. To like, hey, look, you don't have to be intimidating. You can make your point across. You don't have to be cruel. You don't have to be mean. And I believe this is why the sun and the moon gets into it. Because that's a collision. That's what I believe. Because the sun is more like, rah, rah, rah. And the moon's more like, loving, calm. And it just stated, Cancers are calm people. Leo's more like, wah, 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 at you, pretty much. 
and it really sucks. I really wish there were more I can talk about, but for some odd reason, it's not going to let me talk about any more. But they will respect you and care about you. The difference is, is that this is probably why it's stated that you would want these people in your corner is because... If you lose if you lose respect or if these people don't care about you, you're probably screwed. I don't know what that means. I don't know if these people might gossip. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But these people are very intuition or maybe they could hear people telepathy. Because if you really think about it, that... Cancer is more of emotions. They can feel anybody's emotions. Okay, let's say, for example, that there was somebody that caught me, okay? And I got a feeling he's got cancer somewhere in him. It was bullshit. So I'm going to say this for an example. This dude felt something so weird. So all of a sudden, he's walking by my home, and he caught me in the most messed up emotions ever that it screwed him up he had to go to the bar and drink and said i need to leave fucking town i believe he's got cancer in him somewhere or he's tell telepathic communication or he's got some psychic ability that caught me and he got terrified of it maybe this is probably why don't ever betray a cancer leo because you always you would want these people in your corner because they they try to understand you but if you betray them they probably won't care for you and probably won't have respect for you and that's probably what it is i could be wrong i don't know i don't know much about the cancer leo because i haven't really looked into it that much like I have with, I understand Aries Taurus, a little bit of Capricorn and Gemini. I looked up Leo. I just don't look up Cancer that much. So it's 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 almost like a tipper tat energy. But hopefully this helped. I'm sorry if I don't know any more information. I really wish I did. Because every time I try to look up something, I literally write down something. Literally, like I'm always having a paper and pen on me, looking up shit on the computer or on my phone. And I'm looking up stuff and I want to write it down. I think it's interesting. I'll post it on here. And it's like, that really sucks. Because this was very interesting energy. And yes, make sure... That your emotions are channeled in a loving way, not in an aggressive way. See, and then that's where it is too. Leo is not understanding the emotions of others. Okay? They, they may be warm, kind-hearted, but they don't fully get it. it. It takes more than warmth and kind and kind warm-hearted to understand deep emotions water signs they understand this perfectly okay i do not give a fuck what you say all water signs understand emotions they understand the pain of others and it hurts them depending on how much is going on they could feel you from a distance they know directly where to go if they know there is a disturbance somewhere, they will walk the fucking town or drive somewhere and see where it's at. Then they can pinpoint, oh crap, who who lives here? And then and then they talk with others and they go, oh crap. And then they can find out if it's actually somebody that they know or if it's a complete stranger. That these people are so em empath uh, empathetic... sympathy sympathy like oh my gosh i'm so sorry like can i help you i'm sorry please don't feel like this that's true emotions that's compassion 
Leos don't have that. They go more like, well, you should have fucking known better. Like, they pretty much give you tough love. Cancers give you more of, well, if you really think about it, and I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm just trying to be honest here. Cancers have a tendency to baby their children, and Leos don't baby their kids. Or, you know what I mean? And that is the best way I explain it. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It's just this energy is kind of confusing to me too. But like I said, this is pretty much all that I can think of in opinions. <sighs> There's some type of character that's positive that changes them to sharpen, to be humble. Zeulus? Kind of interesting to me. Never heard of that before. But yeah, eventually they do get sharpened. They do get humbled, eventually. They enjoy the company of good people. The warmth. Meaning, like, probably the loving energy, the good in people's hearts, calm, that's probably what it is too. They they love the energy of good people. They like the warmth of somebody. And these people will know if you if you're struggling, they'll know if you're a good hearted person. That's also another thing too. These people are probably I just said it not too long ago. What was it? Empaths. It's a psychic ability. And that's also too. That can also be a part in. Also. In your cusp. Houses. Which would be 4th and 10th. This could probably secretly reveal. Your psychic abilities too. See there's a lot of hidden. That I didn't even know. See I didn't even realize it. Until I started looking into it more. So. If you really, really want to know what psychic abilities you got or what type of empath you are or what type of spiritual gift you got, all you have to do is look it up. And you're going to have to want to have to try to figure it out. And if you can, cool. If not, you may have to go to an astrologer, which I hope it's not too much. Or you may have to go to a tarot reader. I don't know. Like I said, this is all I got. Just pretty much they're they're trying to do positive. They want to they want to bring respect and care. They want positive. And they're trying to balance out their their fits pretty much. Because you got two signs right here that will throw a fit. Because one feels emotions so much they can't help it because they're, um, tele telepathic. Pretty much can feel the emotions of others. And then you got one that throws a fucking fit. Whoever disrespects her, pretty much. But like I said, you got kind of two pain in the asses in one. Right here, you got two that are pain in the asses, which is night and day. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. I hope this, guys, I hope this helped you guys. Don't know why I'm getting tongue twisted. Maybe I'm getting tired, or maybe that's my cue. My ancestors saying I need to stop talking. But I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully something came up to help you. Have a good night, guys.